Alright gang, we're back with another Crash of the Titans this week. It, it, it's weird saying this week, you know, with the uh, with the all new, brand new format with Deadpool Daily, but here we are. Uh, we have a battle between Morbius and Spider-Man. You know, both, well I guess you could say the movie version of one and the movie version of another, but anyway. Uh, we have five-star Peter Parker Spider-Man against four-star Morbius. So the five-star Spider-Man is a blue, green, and red user. His blue ability costs six, and what it will do, it will create some web tiles on the board. And if there are at least six or more web tiles on the board, it will remove all of them and then stun the enemy team for two turns. Which, you know, hey, that's sort of kind of useful. His green ability is called Arachnid Agility. And I always forget how this shit works, but I know that it costs 10 AP and it does damage to random targets, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does damage to a random target or to a random enemy and then additional damage uh, to random enemy for each web tile that's on the board, which it's going to be a max of 4. Then at level 5, it'll be a max of 5, but, you know, damage is increased. So, again, not really, I mean, it's something we got to worry about, but it's not anything that's going to be too, I mean, it's going to be scary for lower level Morbius, just Morbius size, yeah. And then Web Shot is both a passive and an active ability for 7 red AP, and what it'll do at the start of the turn, if one doesn't exist, it'll create create at least uh, two web tiles on the board all right if there's at least fewer than two web tiles all right and then what it'll do for seven red AP it'll do damage to the target then if there's at least three or more web tiles on the board then you convert at least one of them to a critical tile and if there's five or more web tiles then you convert two of them in the critical tile so ideally what you what you want to do is you want to you want to fire off, stick around to uh, to get the web tiles on the board. You know, with web shot, you know, web shot's passive, and then fire off web shot to you know to do massive damage to to everybody. Well, to the person who's out in front, or you could stick around and stun the team for two turns and then have other web users create more web tiles to make more web shenanigans but anyway um his affiliations are spider-verse heroes avengers oh well okay spider-verse heroes and team iron man technically yeah this version here spider-man technically isn't an avenger it's again that doesn't come until uh infinity war but i digress Alright, so now we have Morbius the Living Vampire. As you can see, mine just champion max at 370 because, hey, I hated fighting Polaris and Beta Ray Bill and uh, Kitty Pride teams back in PvP. PvP Simulator, anyways. So he's a black, purple, and blue user, though not, though not in those particular manners. And, well, let's just say one of his abilities is going to be pretty much useless, which is his black ability. The black ability is a standout ability, Feeding Friends. And what it does is that if there's an enemy special tile on the board, uh, destroy destroy uh, an enemy special tile if you match it away or you destroy it. And then you remove other enemy special tiles on the board. And you deal damage to a random enemy. Alright. Now you're probably wondering. Well. 
Well, aren't web tiles enemy special tiles? No. Web tiles are, are neutral tiles, so we aren't going to be able to take advantage of the feeding frenzy. Uh, hematology also feeds into his black feeding frenzy ability. So what it does for five blue AP, it will create a one-turn repeater tile on the board. It will destroy an enemy strike attack or protect tile. And then when the repeater tile, you know, does its thing, it will give uh, Morbius a, a, not burst health, but he'll restore It'll restore help to Morbius and you know other good things so here I probably for the sake of this fight here I probably would go with uh, with this at five because again blacks gonna be pretty much useless here all right so we got the uh, the hematology healing uh, and then finally in the shadows is is this purple ability and this here costs seven and what it will do it'll create trap tiles on the board there's a five red or five black trap tile on the board that if they are master destroyed by the enemy uh, you deal you deal damage to um, to the target then you reduce the strength of enemy of all enemy strike attack or protect tiles by the listed amount and then the damage dealt by these tiles here permanently reduces the enemy's health for the rest of the battle uh so long story short anybody that has uh healing abilities they, they won't be able to to fully heal to them to their maximum health they'll heal to wherever that that permanent health is and you'll see it as a uh, as a red bar that eats away from their their life bar so so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get his purple off so you can see the uh, the health bar and I'll point it out uh, if we can uh, if we get that far uh, so of course Morbius affiliations which now have been updated our heroes, villains, Midnight Suns, Enhanced, and Supernatural. Alright. Now, I'm obviously not going to go in with my level 70 Morbius, though. For some of y'all, that'd, that'd be kind of funny. It's like, haha, you can't beat it with level seven, 70 Morbius. And I'm like, nah, I can't, because I don't have his blue ability to heal. Uh, as far as Team of some boosts go, boost purple, boost blue. You know, that's that's a given uh, again black doesn't really do anything I'm gonna boost red I'm gonna boost up uh, team up AP because again those are neutral they don't affect the fight as I always say and then the strategy to defeat spider-man let's deny blue let's deny red let's deny green let's get our repeater tile out on the board so that we can always heal each turn and let's get enough purple to put on on the board so that spider-man has to match either black or black or red to permanently take out his health
That's a pretty straightforward fight, to say the least, at least for my Morbius. Again, didn't really have to use the hematology and all that good stuff. You know, thanks Alliance for the most part for playing, and one more thing until they get an Apocalypse Red cover. Um, so as far as people to pair Morbius up with, as I get ready to change his power set back, um, pretty much anybody that that hates special tiles. So, so Sabretooth, he hates strike, attack, or protect tiles. You can double up with Morbius by removing any enemy strike tiles on the board. Uh, you know, he hates protect tiles too, so naturally he works well with the Koye and Immortal Hulk against the Beta Ray Bill, Polaris, and Kitty Pride teams. Though not so much against Chasm and um, Mighty Thor Chain Foster, you know. It doesn't really do anything also to, uh, what's my dude name, Onslaught. He might slow down Shang-Chi a little bit because, again, Shang-Chi really needs red. And if you happen to get on red and black, that might slow him down a little bit, but... Once Sean goes infinite, eh. But yeah, anybody that that uses uh, strike attack or protect tiles or just special tiles in general, yeah, bring in Morbius. Like anybody uses countdown tiles, you match away count. <gasps> Excuse me, countdown tiles. Yeah, that that's a win-win-win for you. All right, so let's see here who is next up on the list before we uh before we turn things over okay so we don't have anything uh on deck for the next crash in a week or so but uh we do have emma frost up in the game two versions of emma frost in fact uh for those uh they didn't know they were giving away uh shards uh for for the revamping of certain some characters with their champion status um i didn't make a video up on it last week because i was stupidly busy with work and you know there are other marvel puzzle quest youtubers that that put out that information there so it'd be kind of redundant to you know add my two cents to it it really would um but yeah, I actually have the new Five Star Emma Frost. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of folks that have her as well. I can make her a 111 right now at runner in PvP, but I'd rather rather not do that there. I'd rather let the loners uh do their thing. Uh I will say her artwork is actually pretty cool. We'll break down a few of her abilities real quick. Uh, so Psychic Flames is here cost 8 and while it sounds similar to the Jean Grey ability where Jean Grey puts strike tiles on red uh, This one here is actually something similar to uh, Shang Chi's uh, red ability where you destroy uh, Up to four basic tiles you deal deal damage to the enemy team and then you drain your team's red AP a la uh, Hulk Buster. Hey, you deal extra damage per AP drained. So at level five, uh, I'm pretty sure the extra damage would be increased. You know, as you put more more levels into your Emma. Then uh, passively, whenever um, when when she builds power, Emma increases the ability damage for teammates by 70% plus 2% uh, per red AP and then Phoenix Force allies so that's going to be Colossus and 5 star, Col five star Colossus and 5 star um, Cyclops it's like, along with the eventual 5 star magic whenever she comes and then the 5 star <clears throat> Namor the Submariner it's like assuming 
assuming that both of them are going to be five stars as well is that they're going to deal an additional amount of ability ability damage so you know that makes colossus is black a little bit stronger that makes cyclops is red a little bit stronger so on and so forth all right my own best friend this costs five this is both an active and a passive so passively uh when she's in dime well actually i'll talk about the diamond from diamond form first so what it will do uh she creates a three time three turn fortified diamond countdown tile and then she ships into diamond form if she isn't already uh and then while she's in diamond form she can't use can't use any of her powers just like the three just like the four star version but her match damage is increased and then she takes 100% reduced match damage and she can't be stunned and when the countdown tile runs out or destroyed she reverts back to human form and then finally uh if if all of her teammates are downed and she has no diamond countdown tile then my own best friend will trigger will activate the countdown tile and then you know you know the uh Again, increased match damage and the match damage resistance. All right. Then finally, mental block. This is a purple ability which costs nine. Uh, so what it'll do? It'll destroy one, one random special tile, or at level three, two random special tiles, or at level five, three random special tiles. Uh, prior prioritizing repeater and countdown tiles, and then she'll create. Either a two turn or a three turn fortify countdown tile that reduces all the active opponent's abilities levels by two levels or three levels. And obviously, destroy tiles don't generate uh, AP or deal damage. So, again, she, she could be kind of cool with the whole. Uh, damage resistance at least for herself and then an increased amount of uh, match damage for uh, for allies and ability damage for her uh, Phoenix Force compatriots so again solid it's a uh, again still still debating on whether or not I want to pull out of that store just to get a uh, five-star Cyclops champion but that's for future me to decide all right, now the three-star version of Emma Frost uh, is pretty is similar to the five-star version, except her yellow ability. So her yellow ability, what it does, cost nine. She uh, she can do uh, tile swappage for two and. Four two and four basic tiles and then she'll create uh some strike tiles on the board and then passively uh she increases her teammates uh lowest level ability kind of similar to five star black bolt up by two and then plus one if they're if they're an x-men ally up to f level fives and then up to level five and the mutant allies take less damage from matches and then at level five it, it puts it to three so essentially makes uh an ability i mean a character of five 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 essentially and then you know less match damage and then all that good stuff so in a way this is good for characters that have you know that are one 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 that are that are loners and and pvp and you need to boost them up to five 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 you know that's that's one way to do it or if there's characters that have three really good abilities that like oh man hey this would actually be pretty awesome if boosted there you go and then my own best friend again Again, same thing. Three turn countdown tile takes reduced match damage. Again, uh, same thing from the Foster version. And then mental block again. 
Again, the exact same thing. Repeater tiles, destroying enemy, enemy special tiles, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's the three star, three star foster M in a nutshell. I like the three star version. Again, I'm not gonna, not gonna be like, oh man, I gotta champion her out immediately. So, um, I'm at this point here, I'm like, well, hey, whenever, whenever she gets champion, she gets champion. So, I'm not gonna, you know, stress over that too much. So, that's gonna end the video here. Yeah, been rambling for about 21 minutes. Um, be mindful that the, the what's the name season, the, um, the power season, this is going to be very short because we got anniversary, uh, details from anniversary coming out this week. So if I remember to post a video, um, from my very hectic schedule this week, I'll, I'll talk about anniversary. I may or may not pull from the, um, uh, the Emma Frost store. If I do, uh, you guys will see the video and uh yeah uh the excellency of fellow human beings i'm gonna get some more of this deadpool daily done later